Welcome to Brief Camp Bootcamp. This is Johan here, and today we'll be reviewing how to attain situational awareness with the Respond module of Brief Camp Video Content Analytics Platform. Brief Camp is a comprehensive solution comprised of three different modules our review module, our research module, and our respond module. Brief Camp's respond module is what allows video to become actionable. The Respond module is our real-time rule-based alerting solution that enables users to proactively respond to developing actions as they unfold. It is complementary to our post-event investigation review module and our operation intelligence research module. Let's click our rules and we'll see the back end of things here. To add a rule is pretty simple. All you have to do is click add a rule on the upper right-hand corner. We have a pop-up here that allows us to see that we have three different rule types that we can create, real-time alerts, smart alerts, and people counting alerts. Real-time alerts will be triggered within five seconds after the event has occurred. Face recognition, class category, and area filters are available. Let's click here and let's create a real-time alert and see what that looks like. So real-time alert. Here we add a title, whatever title you'd like to choose. Here we reselect the camera that we want to apply and create the rule for. So let's say we want to click this one here, call to the corridor. And here, after we click next, we see that we are able to schedule how often we want to run the alert. Continuously, we can run once, select the time um, and dates that you want to run once for, daily, um, you know, range if you want to select a specific range for time or weekly as well maybe if you want to just do business hours or just weekends you can certainly do so in this example here we'll be able to run the rule continuously let's click next and now what we should be seeing is a live view of the camera here you'll notice that we have a few filters that are a little bit limited but allows us to do a lot in real time we have our area filter a line crossing filter our class filter facial recognition that coincides with our watch list and allows us to include people or exclude people um, that are on our watch list to create a rule by. And we also have count as well. Let's say here for real time alert, we want to create a rule for line crossing and see if anyone enters this specific corridor um, that's related to our watch list that we created. So we can click here for line crossing and let's say we want them to, when they're walking southbound here, when they're entering the office and let's click the specific um, office suspects watch list that we have already created. So here we have already uploaded an identity that we were searching for um, and we want to be alerted by when they enter this quarter, when they enter the building in our office. When I click apply and then click create, we'll see that the alert or the rule has been created. When someone that's on the office suspects watch list enters that specific quarter, I will receive an alert through our alerts tab here, a notification and the alerts will look like this similarly to what you're looking at right now. The alerts are able to be shared through some VMSs that we have integrations with. And we also can create a third party integration that allows the alerts to be sent out in other ways. Let's go back to our rules tab here and let's look at the other types of alerts that we can create. Let's click add a rule again and let's click smart alert. So the smart alerts are triggered between 30 to 60 seconds after the event has occurred. All filters are available and I'll be able to share with you what that means. Let's click next, add a title, click next again. We will select which camera we want to run and apply the rule for. Let's say it's this camera here that we want to run the rule on um, for the alert. And now we select how often we want to run the alert. Let's select continuously or continuous to run the rule continuously here. We have additional filters um, that we did not have before when it came to real time alerting. The alerts here for smart alerts are processing in real time. Here we want to create an alert that allows us to get notifications when there are vehicles that make an illegal U-turn or an illegal turn. And we can actually draw a path right here within the video. We can get an understanding if people go um, make a turn from this road side of the road to this other side of the road or from this lane to this lane illegally as well. And let's say additionally we want to select two wheel vehicles as well as other vehicle types so we can receive those notifications for those specific types of people making those specific U-turns and illegal turns. Once we create here, the rule will be applied as well. Lastly, let's go and create another type of rule, the last type of rule that Briefcam can create, the people counting alert. 
People calling in large are real-time alerts that take Snapchat every few minutes or a single video frame and capture the count of the number of people in the whole frame or in the defined area. These alerts are ideal for queue counting, for crowd controls, and are triggered when the number of people in the frame pass the defined threshold, providing you with and your organization with the ability to react to relevant events at a speed that was previously impossible. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you found this overview helpful. If you have any further questions or would like to see an expanded demonstration of BriefCamp's video content analytics platform, please reach us at BriefCamp Bootcamp at BriefCamp.com or by visiting our website www.briefcamp.com. To learn more about BriefCamp's comprehensive video analytics platform, please check out the other videos in this series.